Hello everybody, my name is Michelle and I'm one of the zoologists here at the Dallas Zoo and today I'm going to be talking about the lemurs we have on our habitat. Um, so first I will introduce the lemurs that we have that you can see right now. We do have um, Daryl who is up front, who is a ring-tailed lemur, and Howie who is scent marking on that tree over there, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And then we also have Iggy and Alina who are our black and white ruffed lemurs. Um, so these guys love to eat since they hang out in the trees a lot. They do love to eat fruit, flowers, and leaves in the wild, depending on what kind of lemur they are. That will change um, depending on their habitat and um, some of their adaptations. Something that is really cool about our black and white ruffed lemurs is actually they have um, something called suspension feeding where they hang from their feet to try to get at branches that they wouldn't be able to get at. So they hang from the branches and then they can get fruit or flowers off of trees. So at the zoo, they get leafy greens, fruits and veggies. They also get something called primate chow, which is kind of like dog food, but made specifically for primates. Um, and almost everything on this habitat is actually forageable, which means that these guys can eat it. So we have a bunch of plants, we have bamboo, we have pomegranate, we have honeysuckle. And that's really cool because then these guys have some free choice of what they are eating. Um, so some other fun stuff about lemurs besides the fact that they like to eat, these guys love to groom each other. And this is really important because these guys live in troops and their troops are between two and 20 plus individuals depending on the species. And um, in these troops they groom each other not only to keep their coats nice but also to help with their relationships. But something that's really cool about lemurs is they actually have something inside their mouths called a tooth comb. And it is actually six teeth that jut out of the front of their mouth on the bottom half and it kind of looks like this. And it is a comb that they use to comb each other's fur with. And so that's weird, but something that's even more cool and weird that goes along with that is that these guys actually have two tongues. They have a normal tongue and a sublingual tongue. Sublingual means an under tongue, so it's under their normal tongue. And what this tongue does is it separates from their normal, normal tongue when they need to clean out their tooth comb. And it is pointed so it can go in between each one of the teeth and clean it out so they don't swallow all of the fur. Um, the other animals, maybe like cats, you know cats have fur balls, they swallow their fur. Um, but these guys guys get it all out so they don't have to worry about that while they're grooming their um, relatives and the other members of their troop which is really cool. Something else that these guys like to do um, of course besides eating and grooming is scent marking. Male lemurs have scent glands on various parts of their body. One of their big scent glands is in their armpits and so these guys will walk up to a tree and they will rub against it to put their scent in and this helps them know, let other lemurs know that they're there and that's part of their territory. Um, but something that's really cool that goes along with this is they actually have a piece of bone that juts out of their forearm that is just covered by skin and not fur and what they do with that is they go up to trees and they jab it into the tree. So when they scent mark, the scent stays longer, which is super cool. Um, so these guys scent mark in a lot of places, but something that they also do with scent, which is one of my favorite lemur behaviors, is called stink fighting. And what stink fighting is, is when two male lemurs are trying to show dominance. Maybe they're seeing a very attractive female lemur. Maybe they're fighting over some territory or food. What they will do is they will take their tail and it'll go through their legs up to their armpits. They'll rub it in their armpits and then they will flick it over their head and they will throw stink at each other. Um, so if they are fighting for dominance, the stinkiest lemur is the one who wins, um, which is, I'm glad that people don't do it this way, but it's really cool that lemurs do this and they do like their scent. So I've told you about guys a bunch of cool things about lemurs and just like me, I'm sure you guys think that they are very cute, very cool animals. But something that's really sad about lemurs is they're, are over a hundred species in Madagascar, but 90% of more of these or more of these guys are vulnerable, um, endangered, or critically endangered, including the species that we have here at the zoo. But something that the zoo is doing right now, which is very cool, is we are asking for old cell phones and batteries, and we are recycling those because some of the metals they use in those things are mined in Africa. So if you recycle your cell phone, then we can reuse those metals and you are helping the animals um, in Africa. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you guys have a great day and um, it was great to see you guys. And once we open back up, it'll be great to see you guys as well. Thank you.